Sorry you guys, you're not gonna see this part because uh, it might be frowned upon. I think I found out why the tire tread was backwards. Can you guys recall that? That was one of the marks we made when we were going through how many things were screwed up on this. I think we were up to like 21 or 22 marks. But I go to put air in the tire so that I can move this easily so I can bring in my skidoo, you know, an actual running machine. And I look for the air valve and I realize that the tire, the rim's backwards. I can see it right now, it's back there. Oh my goodness. I completely understand if you forgot that the tire was on backwards. I completely understand if you forgot that this thing, you know, needed some work. But you gotta get your act together if you forgot that this thing was such a piece of junk. I mean, come on now. Have you seen this thing? So Dalton, why would they put this tire and wheel backwards? I'll show you why. They took the caliper here from the front of the machine and put it on the back. This is actually supposed to go up front on the right side. They welded it on here, and to have clearance, they put the wheel on backwards. See, here's the tire valve. So because I want to ride the Skidoo today, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back on the way they had it. Just first I'll fill it with air so I can move it easier. You can clearly see why I wanted to work on this thing today. It's covered with the stuff that you ride it with. I knew this was gonna happen. Hey, if I didn't leave this out, then we probably wouldn't have gotten any snow. It's kinda like when you went to school or if you still go to school and you do the snow day dance so that you get snow and then it hopefully snows. Well, I left my pan out so that it would get filled with snow and be an inconvenience for me so that I could trick mother nature to allow me to ride in the snow. Reverse psychology. I, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Let's see how she likes starting today. dilemma with working with a two-stroke is now you have to worry about ventilation. <laughs> Four-strokes, man, they're pretty clean. I guess you gotta pay the price when you wanna go BRAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
This guy, I have a feeling that it's going to go through oil a lot quicker than the 600. Chain case oil looks good. The plug didn't come out. We're not going to worry about that yet either. I mean, yes, I could be here all day rebuilding this thing from scratch and having a top-notch machine, but then I'd also be wasting snowmobiling time. And what good is a snowmobile if you can't ride it, right? So we're just going to get this thing up and going with the top three. As soon as I'm done with that third thing, zero. Brat, brat, baby. I'm just gonna hook up my heated windshield wire and I'll just ride up to the part store. It's right up the road. You gotta love it when you can go to the part store with your freaking snowmobile. That's about the only benefit of living in New York State. <laughs> Pretty simple setup. You got a positive and a negative, and then there's your supply, baby. So, how I plan on running this is right here the pull starter, which I'm a fan of a pull starter if the machine is electric start because God forbid your battery dies or the starter craps the bed. You got a backup right here. Brat. So New York State has like a snowmobiling season. Do you guys, are you guys allowed to like ride in your state or wherever you're from with like four wheelers and dirt bikes? Because I know in like West Virginia and a couple other spots is you could just ride your four wheeler and dirt bike right through town and that's amazing. New York State should get on that bandwagon, but we don't. Why? I don't know, why do people hate on this channel? People just, people are freaking nuts. So yeah, if you live in a place like that, leave in the comment section below. Check the toilet snake and I might have to go out there and check it out. Or the rest of the guys, who knows. I've ran my wire. I have the wire coming up. I have it zip tied to this part of the handlebar. Crossed over, zip tied to this part of the handlebar. And then it sits right here. The reason why there's slack here, when I turn, so that it doesn't tighten and stretch and break. I'm very excited to say that I think it's time to rip and wrap on. Now that I'm thinking of it, I should turn my idle down now. I like how most people would get in their vehicle and go buy stuff for their snowmobile when I'm just going to go ahead and just ride my snowmobile to the parts place. Which way do I want to go? Made it! Look at this open road I get to use! Okay, this is a secret between you and me. I'm gonna hide this oil, because I didn't use all of it. I'm going to hide this oil right by this blue thing. <laughs> and then I'll pick it up later. Okay? Don't tell anybody. Shh, quiet. I only used about half of it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to go slower when I'm alone because there's no competition. Are you guys the same way? Look at this, you guys. I'm breaking trail everywhere I go. so good no unexpected bumps I'm still being cautious though last year I had some bad experiences if you guys want me to share that I will but uh, basically I bucked off my girlfriend <laughs> Mail. 
I want to begin this fan mail session by apologizing for not putting comments in this video. I'm really sorry. Um, this video took me a long time to edit for some reason. Hey doll, my name is Damon. Thank you, Damon. I love your videos and don't have much time to watch them anymore because I'm currently deployed overseas. Thank you for your service. But with the little time I get off, I catch up on your videos. It reminds me of being in the States and New York. Thank you very much, Damon. I do appreciate it. And like I said, thank you for your service. I guess somebody knows that I'm missing a 14 millimeter socket. No, no, but it might have come from Anthony. If so, thank you, Anthony. I asked you guys yesterday what you guys thought was the most expensive sport, and you guys had some terrific answers. Some things that I didn't even think of. Monster truck. Yeah, that's that's got to be a very expensive sport. But, but there were a lot of answers, so you guys know what I was talking about when I said that sports are expensive. You guys completely understood the concept. I like this one. I dig it. Not that I didn't like this one, but hey, we gotta switch it up, right? We gotta keep it 2017 froggy fresh. Dear 3D Machines, my name is Oleg Casco. Casco? Oleg K. I'm in seventh grade pursuing my dream of being a mechanic just like you. You've inspired me a lot and my friend Brent. Actually, he is the one that told me about you. I'm glad everybody's coming together and finding the 3D Machines channel. I love your videos. Keep up the awesome work. Keep brapping on. I will definitely be brapping on. Sincerely, Oleg Costco and Brent Hall. And it says, sorry if I got the wrong phone case. No, you spot on, dude. That's a heavy one. Out of all the sports that you guys mentioned, I think the funniest one was women. That's appropriate. Ooh. Ratcheting wrenches. It looks like there's an entire set here. There is an entire kit. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Nope, no 11. 10, 8. But they're ratcheting. And I dig it. Now, these didn't come with a note, but the guy did personal message me on YouTube and let me know that these were in the mail. So thank you very much, Fat Lee. I really appreciate it. These will come in handy. Like Let me begin by saying I liked how you packaged it very, very, uh, well, so it wouldn't break, and I just tossed it on my hard surface countertop. Your videos are great. I watch them every single day. Thank you. You should get a quad like a Honda 450 when you hit 500,000 subscribers. Stay froggy fresh from Dylan Walsh. Thank you very much, Dylan. I really appreciate it. I will definitely... Does that look good? Well, thank you guys for a very, very successful fan mail. The address is in the description. I'll bring it right here. We can share the fame. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning into this 3D Machines production. Don't forget, we're this close to 500,000 subscribers. Dylan wants to see a new four-wheeler. A lot of people want to see a new bike. Leave in the comment section below. We're so close, baby. A new machine is about to appear. It's up to you guys. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. Who's going to win?